Uh, we have a small certificate first, uh, and it says, in abounding appreciation to Reverend Barbara Carrington Shaddon for your many years of sacrificial ministry and for faithfully leading the choir. How about that? Would you give her a hand? They don't care about any specials. They don't care about anything else. They just care about the choir. Right, uh, so. On this 31st day of August 2014 at Lakeport Christian Center, and we have signatures uh, by a couple board members as well. He, she is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever she does prospers. Isn't it beautiful? My God is an awesome God. I want you to keep it in your hand uh, like this. That's a small card for her. But I have more scripture, and I'm not just going to mention that she, she was so faithful in all kinds of ministries, but I think we really, really appreciate that the, at the last years uh, as she was leading and uh, uh, helping us with the choir. You know, beautiful to have once a month choir and then for the specials, and it's nice to see and exercise our voices unto the Lord. Uh, well, she decided to semi-retire whatever the word semi means, <laughs> Ernest. But we had a board meeting the other day and we said that every time when Sister Leona is gonna be singing, you have to sit in the car and drive all the way back from Redwood Valley. How about that? <laughs> Sounds good? Sound this? But here's the scripture, more scripture. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, no longer I do call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I, chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and your fruit should abide. What we are trying to say together as a congregation that we want to say thank you for serving with the willing heart and that heart is like Jesus. Even when I ask you to share something, and I have to always say in season and out of season, you say, well, when? Like this, but you're always ready, and you always respond if you're always here. If I'm talking about commitment, this is one of the servants of the Lord that you can count on 1,000%. Not just saying, but doing and being here. As we say, there's basically no words to express what you mean to this congregation and what you mean to us, and you truly are our friend. It's good to have you on our team. <laughs> we never say enough about uh, Granny Lee, but Granny Lee is a minister's wife, pioneered many churches all over Texas, uh, and it's just incredible joy at this stage in her life to know that she loves the Lord, but God is opening this door, and that's going to be better to be closer to the family, closer to a daughter. Here's another daughter. Would you give her a hand this morning? <laughs> and I would like some of the ladies gently just kind of, could you just surround my sister Granny Lee? Some of the ladies gently, don't push her down, just gently. I want to be 97 too, by the way. How about that? And I want to be up here all right. How about that? Are you excited? Let's stretch the rest of you, your hands toward the platform, and we're going to pray right now. Our gracious Father, we thank you for those two servants. Uh, we thank you for Reverend Barbara, and we thank you for Granny Lee, my Lord. Uh, we have no words to express our gratitude. Uh, Lord, we just thank you for their faithfulness. Uh, Lord, we mentioned the word commitment, my Lord. Uh, Any time. Uh, there will be a joy, there will be that laugh, my Lord. We are ready to respond. So we thank you right now for bringing both of them into our team, my Lord. But now we are starting a new chapter, my Lord. 
We are sending them as a missionaries to Redwood Valley, my Lord. Uh, they're just extension of our family. We are part of the kingdom of God. Uh, oh Lord, uh, I pray that you will bless them abundantly, that you will fulfill the desires of their hearts at this time, my Lord. Uh, I thank you right now that you will send those who will fill their shoes, my Lord. Uh, what a shoes, what a signs of shoes to fulfill, my Lord. Uh, I pray right now, uh, Lord, just we're giving them into your hands right now. Uh, in the precious name of our Savior, Lord Jesus, be with them. Uh, anoint them, refresh them, my Lord. Uh, and we believe that when we hear the reports, there's going to be even greater fruit uh, of their faithful testimony. In your precious holy name. Amen. Well, one more time. Praise the Lord. We love you. Amen. We have a nice one. So every time when you look, I hope they're going to be blooming all year. I hope like this. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Okay. Well, now are we going to rock the house a little bit? A little bit. Praise.